I'm going to try and cover a couple of subjects here. Had a lot of questions about welding chassis up. So this is a chassis that we're repairing that Jackson ran at Adelaide last year. So I thought I'd explain to you what the difference between a TIG and a MIG welder is um, in very basic terms. So this is a, an ESAB um, TIG welder. So it has a little handle and a wire and they weld up like this. And over here, we have our ESAB MIG, which is a handle, which the wire you can see comes out of the center. So you pull the trigger and you weld that way. Now, <clears throat> this is what the difference looks like. So this is MIG welding. You can see it down that side there. And this is TIG welding. So you can see it's certainly uh, more intricate. And the, the stick, and the TIG welder allows for less weight. So people like to TIG weld to get the weight out of their car and try and get a lower center of gravity. But the rules state that the cars have to be MIG welded. So the majority of this car is all MIG welded and you're only allowed to use the TIG welder in the tiny little bits where you can't fit the big handle in. So um, that's pretty much how, how the cars are welded up. And uh, what I wanted to show you here is just go around my uh, core gas bottle. Um, the, the repair is coming along great. So the boys have welded this corner on the car. So uh, you can see a lot of it's welded up. We've still got some brackets to put in for the oil tank and such. And then this car will come off the jig and then they'll weld the bottom of it. Obviously you can't get to it when it's like this. What's interesting is when they unbolt it all, it'll spring a little bit which is, is one of the reason why where the front clips go in, it's like a cone. So it pulls it all together, makes it fit nicely. So hopefully, maybe next week, this will come off the jig. We'll clean it up, get it into the paint shop, give it a coat of paint, and I'll give you another update then.